In this video, we'll cover the concept of location-based chats, including the necessary permissions and how to access tasks and posts. We'll explore the location details and introduce the Catch Me Up feature. Additionally, we'll demonstrate the use of the floating sidebar and how to link a task to a chat. Finally, we'll cover how you can leverage AI with your conversation, like creating a task or finding related tasks or chats. Let's begin. Let's open the new campaign chat. In this conversation, notice the location is displayed under the name. Location-based chats are directly linked to the new campaigns list, providing quick access to ongoing work. To send messages in a location-based chat, you also need to have location access permissions. You can easily access tasks mentioned in messages or see related posts. For example, let's look at the Spooky Discounts campaign. You can view team projects in board view. Click on the Tasks tile to open them. You can update task details like the priority, add comments, and perform other actions, just like with tasks in ClickUp. There's no need to switch apps for context. Projects are integrated within the chat for immediate action. Now in the upper right-hand corner, you'll find the location details. Here, you can see what the chat is about. You can also view the team members following the chat and access files that are associated with it. Next, let's explore a very interesting feature. Let's click the AI button here. The Catch Me Up feature window will open. Catch Me Up is a handy tool for getting up to speed on past conversations. Whether you've missed a lot of back and forth over a long weekend or are returning from time off, it helps you catch up quickly. It's also great for when you start following a new chat and need to get up to date. You can choose to be updated on the last 24 hours or even up to 14 days. Let's say I wanna be caught up on the last two days. The AI creates a simple summary of what happened. Let's close this and move on to the next feature. In your chat window, you'll find a floating sidebar on the right of your screen. You can search within your chat messages. You can also conveniently filter replies or see follow-ups assigned to you, including resolved ones. And lastly, you can also view any task relationships if they exist. Task relationships involves linking an existing task to a chat message. For example, in the webinars chat, we can see a conversation about the webinar schedule. If there's an existing task related to this, you can simply hover over the chat, click the connect a task button, then select the relevant task. In this example, let's choose workshop scheduling. Now, this task is linked to the chat. When you open the task, you'll see the chat information captured within it. It also indicates that the message is from the webinars chat. You can continue updating the task by adding an assignee and modifying other fields as needed. You can close the task window or click the linked message to return to our previous chat. As a best practice, always link tasks with your chat messages. Whenever possible, create tasks related to your discussions and link them to chat messages for better task management and visibility. Next, let's talk about follow-ups. You can find them in the floating sidebar on the right or by scrolling up in the main sidebar on the left. Under follow-ups, you'll see the tasks assigned to you. Let's open one of the messages. Here, the chat is about an Oktoberfest campaign. To create a task, click the Create or Assign button. You can either create the task manually or use AI. Let's choose to create with AI. Awesome, now we have a task created. Let's apply a few changes to the AI-generated task. We'll rename it to Oktoberfest Campaign, then repost it to the thread. Now, everyone on the thread can see that a task has been created and can easily access it. An action has been made and we can mark this assigned chat as resolved. 
Always track your follow-ups. Regularly check the follow-up section to stay on top of tasks that are assigned to you. Let's close this and go back to the new campaigns. Let's briefly discuss how AI can assist us with our conversations. First, we learned that AI can help us catch up. We also talked about how AI can generate tasks. Additionally, if you click on AI, it can summarize chats to create tasks and find related tasks or chats. Now let's return to the webinars chat. Alicia posted an idea about a webinar on AI custom fields. By clicking on Find Related Tasks, AI can search across the workspace and locate tasks related to this idea. AI generated a few results, so let's copy them. Now let's paste them as references. Great, we have successfully used AI to search for related tasks. Always check for related tasks when working on a new project. This ensures you don't duplicate efforts or lose any valuable information that was previously discussed. Now let's summarize what we have learned. We explored the powerful features of ClickUp Chat. We covered everything from navigating the sidebar and using the launch pad to advanced tools like organizing direct messages via sections. We also looked at the DM interface and we learned about hosting calls with syncups. We also discovered the benefits of location-based chats, seamless task relationships, and AI functionalities such as catch me up, generating tasks, and finding related tasks or chats. And finally, you also learned the recommended best practices to help your team work smarter within ClickUp. Like the new ClickUp chat feature, discover the latest updates and news on ClickUp. Visit ClickUp University and learn more about the future of work from amazing productivity experts.